By the end of the week, Class 1A and 2A softball regionals will start. Trophy season is rapidly approaching. Northeast taking on Comanche. Top of the first inning, Northeast. Leah Mangelson delivers a single into left center. A run comes around to score. It is one nothing Rebels in the blink of an eye. Still in the top of the first, Northeast. Caitlin Hansen with the infield single. That would score Mangelson. It is now 2 0 Rebels early on. Moving on to the top of the second, Northeast. Madison Kluver with a liner into left field, but Comanche's Ava Holing with a diving catch. The sack fly scores one. It is now 3 0 Rebels. Top of the third, Northeast. Piper Isbell single. That's a score one, but Comanche's Addison Edfers guns the second runner out at the plate. Rebels win this one 10 0. Wilton up against Central DeWitt. Top of the sixth, Wilton's Katie Hook with a bases loaded single. That scores one, and the Beavers are down five to four. Sticking in the sixth inning, two batters later. It's going to be a Wilton sacrifice fly out into center field. Deep enough to score Jessica Clark, and the Beavers are now ahead in this one, 6-5. to five. Wilton has two people on. Central DeWitt's Samantha Ledick with a great defensive play. That keeps it 6-5, Beavers in front. Moving on to the bottom of the seventh inning, Wilton's Charlotte Brown with a strikeout to end the game. Wilton wins this one, 6-5. Davenport North against West Burlington on senior night. Bottom of the first, Maddie Cavins with a ground ball to short. She beats the throw at first, and Adeline Bloomer Gomez slides into home, and the Wildcats lead 1-0. Second inning, Isabella Bloffis with a ground ball to short. The throw gets away at first, and that allows Lacey Falcons to score. We are tied up at 1. Same inning, Lauren Krieger. Her ground ball finds a hole, and Bloffis scores. West Burlington leads by 1. Bottom second, Liliana Alvarado with a base hit. One run scores. The second run is thrown out at the plate. North will go on to win 4-3 and sweep the doubleheader. Well, it was a combo of cheers, smiles, and cowbells inside Vibrant Headquarters tonight, all to celebrate the 15U Quad City Strikers Warriors advancing to the U.S. Youth Soccer National President's Cup, a competition that brings together the best teams from around the country. It's a moment this team and program has been waiting for. The biggest strength on this team is their cohesiveness. Uh, it's a great group of kids. They work really well together. Um, and, you know, they know that it's not one man that's going to win the game for us. It's a team effort, and they really show it on the field. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that we are and that we've tried three years, and this is our first year going. Uh, just the communication and all of our ability to work together and attack as a team. Uh, well, a lot of these boys I've coached since kindergarten, uh, some in first, second grade. So just watch them develop and, you know, their love for the game uh, continues to grow is what I'm really uh, proud about. The President's Cup runs from July 7th through July 11th in Wichita, Kansas. Best of luck.